Avigangu Meshimiwa William Samoe Ruto. Wambole zaji wata ba mepika siku ya leo. Muriega. Muriega ringi. Tumekuja kwa hafla muhimu zaidi. Hafla ya kuzindikiza mama wetu. Maitu Mukami Kimathi. Jose Babu ni mekuja. Kapitas ya endalea mbele. Nataka ni tamulia wale mbao ni mekuja nao hapa. Niko hapa na pana Jeremiah Kioni. Secretary General ya Jubilee Party. Niko vile vile na liyekua Gavana wa Moranga. Bana Mwangi wa Iria. Niko vile vile hapa Siju mze Gidu wa kaengeri ya nitume tambaliwa Gidu kaengeri Ambaye Ndiyo ni mwenye kiti wa veterans Wa mau mau Vile vile tuko hapa Na kijana wa kutoka hapa Anaitua maina njenga Kasa. Siku ya leo ni siku muhimu sana Nataka kutuwa shukurani Kwa sirikali Kwa kutamua mama na kusema Hii hafla itakua hafla ya kitaifa Lakini nataka kwa kosoa Wanaga chakwa lisema At his national funeral Lakini bendera hae kuwe kwa nusu mlengoti The flag must be flown at half past If it's a national funeral Pili Mama huyu alikuwa anawasia Alisema angependa Siku ya mbae na ziku hapa Hili mzoga ya mwili ya bwana yake itolewe kule kamiti prison iletu hapa izike pamoja na hii hapo kandi yake hiyo ni wish yake ambayo ingawaje japanyika hapa minataka kuambia wangalie hiyo maneno ipanyike na leta risala ya rambi rambi ya raisa liye stafu uhuru mikai kinyata Ya Kalonzo Musioka Mama Matha Karua Wote maleta ni zala ya mbirambi Huyu mama ni rafiki yangu Ukiona katika yu kitabu mkuna ya hapa Utaona picha Hii ambayo tumepika na hii Moja au Hiyo picha ilipikwa katika buma hii Mekukua buma hii Sio mara moja Hivyo li niku hapa Anajua mamu haa yote Vile vile tumekua nae mpaka kule pale ambaye kimati alishikwa Pale alipigo risasi Tumuenda nae pale ambaye ujamawa na sema nataka hiwe museum Pamoja na hei Nipo enda kumona hei mwakajana likuwa na ugoa Kule korokocho Haka niambia mimi Hei ya mechoka kuhishu katika nyumba ya kukodisha Nika mambia tutafute hei nyumba Na tukatafuta nyumba ya National Housing Corporation kuli ya Thriva. Nilimununua ye nyumba kuli. Tulijuana na ye miaka 28 iliopita. Alikuja kwa ofisi yangu, akaja na mjuku waki. Mbae nda kwa na hitua Didan Kimathi Jr. Akaleta huyo kijana, Yana alikuwa nataka kuenda kusoma huko India Na mibi ni kamsaidia kijana Hakaenda India Halipukua kule India Halikuwa na nindike mimi mbarua Mara kwa mara Vila yana yaendelea Nikambia soma vizuri kabisa 
wewe ndio leader kimathi ambayo inakuja sasa akasema mpaka kafuzu lakini bahati mbaya alipomaliza ilikuwa inatarajia kuja hapa akapata ajali huko atialishika stima akachomeka na stima na akafariki may the lord rest his soul in eternal peace sasa huyu mama yeye bila msemekana hapa alikuwa ni mpigania uhuru yeye mwenyewe yeye ni sababu yeye ni shujaa si sababu tunasema yeye tunamuita yeye hayati yeye alipigania uhuru yeye ni field marshal field marshal mkame wa kimathi yeye mwenyewe waliteswa kabisa na wabeberu na mama walijitokeza wakaenda msituni kupigania uhuru na kulikuwa na sababu inajulikana uhuru wa nchi yetu ililetwa kwanza na juhudi ya mama mao kuna wengine ambao wakaenda msituni ambao walipigana wengine katika vyama vya wafanyikazi wengine katika vyama vya siasa katika bunge na kadhalika juhudi yote ilileta uhuru katika taifa letu lakini vile wengine wamesema hapa mao mao ambao walipigana hawakupata riziki wale makaragosi ambao walikuwa na ramba matako ya mzungu wengi <laughs> wao ndio wakapata hata mashamba wale ambao walikuwa wanapigania home guards and loyalists ya mzungu sasa wakati mewadia ya kufungumbuka hao watu kwanza tulipokuwa ka serikali na bwana Kibaki kukubaliana kwamba mao mao itolewe kwenye orodha ya ile vyama ambavyo vinaitwa terrorist organizations ndio sisi tukatambua mao mao kama a liberation movement wakati huo baadaye okawa wao wa wana katikupitia kwa chama chao kiongozi na mzee kitu wa Kaingeri huyo wako nataka ridhaa kutoka kwa serikali ya kimwingereza wakaajiri mawakili wakataka serikali ya Uingereza katika mahakama kule ya Uingereza for the compensation ya mamao lakini sasa kesi ile ilikuwa inaendelea inaendelea gharama ilikuwa juu wakaja kuangu mimi nikaenda kama waziri mkuu Uingereza nikaongea na waziri mkuu wakati yule David Cameron katika ofisi yake namba 10 Downing Street nikamweleza kwamba hao watu walipigania uhuru wengine waliteswa waliweka kwenye ma detention na kadhalika wanataka ridhaa tukamshauri na ye na yeye alikuwa ni mtumungwana akakubali. Tukakubaliana na out of court settlement kwa maana ya mambo ya mamao. Na serikali ya Uingereza ikalipa shilingi billion mbili. Tena akakubali kujenga monument ya ukumbusho ya mamao. Hiyo monument walileta pesa wakajiri kandarasi na mimi mwenyewe ndio nilienda pale uhuru uhuru park Freedom Corner tukajenga pale monument ya kukumbusha kukumbuka mao mao kwa sababu ya kwa msaada ya serikali ya Uingereza kwa hiyo tunasema shukrani sasa huyu mama amefanya yake mao mao walienda katika msituni walikuwa na sababu kiko mambo ya vita iko mara mbili There's two types of violence. When Mandela, Nelson Mandela alipokuwa anashtakiwa kule mahakamani Afrika Kusini. Alipokuwa anajitetea katika mahakama ya Rivonia. Alisema, "Mimi sipendi mambo ya fujo. I detest violence. Because violence begets violence." There are two types of violence. There's what you call oppressive violence. 
that the violence which the system uses against the people. And then there's another type of violence that is called defensive violence. That is the violence which use, people use to defend themselves against oppression. The two are not equal. When the police disperse innocent citizens who are demonstrating, that is called oppressive violence. When the people defend themselves by throwing stones, that is called defensive violence. <laughs> the two are not the same. We have said our country, this Mao used violence to defend our country. And in doing so, the country, our country attained independence. We must therefore create a lasting system that will ensure that we never get back again in a situation where people are going to be oppressed. We must create a society that is understanding and caring. We must not look at each other as enemies. We must also deal with this issue of called ethnicity or tribalism. When Kenyans were fighting for independence, there was no, no tribalism. People were all united as one people. Mao Mao were detained in Hola, in Manyani, and several islands on Lake Victoria. There's an island of Lake Victoria called Oyamo Island at Mageta. Kinama Wauru Kanja Walifungwa Uku. Walikoda Tolewa, Spui Wana Letwa, Kufanya Kajuka Barabara, Jenny on a Rodi Choku. Lakini Sikungine, Ao Mao Mao, Manako Lekona Tesla Namzungu Moja Hapo, and Lekona Ito Kamongo. When you pick a woman, I can make them back a woman. Sasa, the Kali Kalete Maskari, when I tap foot a how what you could quit. Take it, Kuja. I love when I saw a same up, Katika Radio. Ati Mukikuyu, Muberu, Namuembu, Nuatu Atari, Ukena Moya Kuja Karibu, Pika report to police by Moya. Here is the project Lakini, while you are Huru, while you are being an Asia Comba, Wakiku in Matuetu, while you say, Diwa, Pakawaka Peter, Pakawanga Kuli Uganda or Kaenda. Wakati Hu Kulikua Hakuna Ubaguzi. Wakanya Wati, while you are Pamoja Kamaki to Kimoja. Jaramogi Alienda Katika Bunge Akasema. Mr. Speaker, Jomo Kenyatta, and all those who were detained with him were and are the true leaders of our country. And their continued detention by the colonial government offends the consciousness of our people. Wakati huo, wakiri wa Afrika bawa lekua wa bunge, wali mkanusha jaramogi. Those people were leaders at that time, but were not elected by anybody. We are now the current leaders. Lakini Jeremogi is Mama Imara. Wakanya wakaungana pamoja. Watu wa Moranga wakasema, Jeremogi masema ukweli. Eldoret wakasema ukweli. Mbasa wakasema ukweli. Ndiyo kaanza mambu na etwa uhuru na kinyata. Mpaka uhuru ikapatikana. Uhuru wa Kenya ilikuja kwa sababu ya umoja ya wa Kenya. And we want Kenyans to continue to remain united. And Kenya, Kenyans will be united, but we must also speak truth to power. Mambia, truth to power. Apana tiswa, apana ugopa. Unagopa nini? Anakibu unagopa. Kwa hivu sisi, Kama wanazimio, sima endazimu. Sisi sima endazimu. Tunaweza tukuelewana. Tunaweza tukuelewana. Sirio. 
Uyo bwana sisene tunanambia mimi ati yeye ama kuna saba mama angalia saba. Si nani anatuma yangu kile saba. Uyo ruto huyo nimefanya naye kazi kwa muda mrefu sana. Yeye ananijua mimi. Kwa hiyo kusisi sasa akipiga kelele huko mimi naangalia tu. Najua atapoa. Sisi tumesema tumetuma sasa watu wetu jopo kazi yeye yeah, ameleta watu yake na tumeleta watu yangu waongee wakaelewana sawa sawa lakini sasa kile mimi naomba hiyo kweli gharama ya maisha imepanda hapana leta ushuru mingi zaidi hapana ni weka tena muziki wengine juu yake punda imechoka jamaa hawaombii wewe mimi ndio niweze kuambia wewe tu punda amechoka tutaongea wakati mwingine asanteni sana ndio kumama faidini kupenda asante sana uh, former prime minister kwa sababu ya mazungumzo